Have you got your school books? Yes. Have you got your football boots? Yes. Have you eaten some good food? Yes, mum. Okay, have a lovely day, sweetheart. Hi everybody and welcome back to Rude English. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing the uh and oo sounds. These sounds often cause confusion because they share lots of the same spelling combinations. So if you want to understand the difference between words like book and boot and improve your English pronunciation, then keep watching this video. This is the uh sound. You can see from its position on the chart that it's part of the single vowels group. To produce this sound, partially close your mouth, round your lips and position your tongue in the centre of the mouth. Then use your vocal cords to produce a short sound from the back of your throat. Uh, uh. The uh sound can be spelt with the letter U in words like put, OU in should, O in woman, and double O in cook. This is the oo sound. You can see from its position on the chart that it's also part of the single vowels group, but the two dots next to it tell us that it's a long sound. So, partially close your mouth, round your lips, and press your tongue towards the roof of your mouth. Then, use your vocal cords to produce a long sound from the back of your throat. Oo. Oo. The oo sound can be spelt with the letter U in words like include, OU in group, O in prove, double O in moon, UE in blue, UI in fruit, and UE in chew. The U uh and U sounds aren't very common and they don't share many minimal pairs. However, they're often pronounced incorrectly because they share lots of the same spelling combinations, such as in school book, football boot, and good food. Unfortunately, there are no rules to follow and no shortcuts. You just have to memorise which words contain which sounds. When the U uh and U sounds appear in function words, they're often replaced by weak forms in connected speech. For example, We could go to the pool. When I speak naturally, it sounds like we could go to the pool. You should take a book. When I speak naturally, you should take a book. When the oo sound appears at the end of a word and the next word starts with a vowel sound, we often insert the w sound to link the words together and make them easier to pronounce. For example, I'll do it soon. When I speak naturally, it sounds like I'll do it soon. Who ate my food? When I speak naturally, who ate my food? I recommend you watch my video on weak forms and semi-vowels for more information about connected speech. Well, that's the end of the lesson. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments below. And remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe so that you don't miss any more educational videos in the future. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.